subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Hello students, I am Hasmundra from JK Jain School. Today we are going to continue the 6th chapter of 11th standard that is distribution analysis. Okay? So in our previous classes we have seen the various aspects of distribution analysis. We have seen the land, we have seen labor, capital and organization. Apart from that we have understand the how these four factors drives the income. From the land we get rent and we have saw the various aspects of rents. Then from the labor we get the wages, from that we have some the various aspects. In today's class we are going to see the capital factor, how this capital plays a vital role in the formation and development of a company. See here, capital means all man-made things that helps to produce goods. What is capital? A man-made thing, a combination of many money or a material aspects that helps you to produce a goods, that will help you to have a Production of goods, you can manufacture the goods, any goods, maybe a mobile phone, a TV or any kind of thing that you can produce. By having the resources, what resource it is? It is money. Okay? Money is investment to buy things such as building machinery and money plays a vital role. If you want to buy a machines, you want to buy a building, you want to buy a land or you want to pay to your labors. What you need? You need a money. That money is what we call as a capital and the reward that you give for the capital that is what we call interest. The reward that has the connection with the capital, it is known as interest. For example, I am the owner of a company and I have the capital. From the capital utilization, I have given my capital to someone else. The person has utilized that capital and from that the revenue has been generated. That is what we call interest. The money that is being derived from the profit or we can say the benefit that you get from the capital is known as interest. What is capital? A sum of money that you need for the running of the business. That is what we call capital. For buying the building, for buying the machines or any other aspects. Okay? Then the income that you generate from the capital is interest. What is interest? A reward paid by the borrower to the lender. See that these two words is very important. Borrower and lender. For the use of capital. For example, there is a 2, 3 person A, B and C. Okay? A is a person who gets money, B is a person who gives, uh, who gives money and C for example is a money, C for example is a money. See here properly, when this money, when the C is giving to the A and A has utilized that money, that is what we call lender. Who is the lender here? B is the lender, A is the receiver and C is the money. That was a reward. What is the reward? For example, C is a reward. Who is the borrower? B is the borrower, okay? And the lender, who is the lender? A is the lender. So, this process of getting the money, a person will get a money for doing a business. For example, I am not having any money and I want to do a business. I will ask any bank or any person to give me the money. That money will be the capital for me. From that, whatever I earn, that I have to give to the person who I am a god. For example, I am a person, I have got a money for, for example, money is a person. From the money, I have got a 10 lakhs rupees. That 10 lakhs rupees is a capital for money. So whatever the interest I am giving to money, that is interest is income for that person. That is what? A reward paid by the borrower. For, for example, whoever I have got a money means when I paid an interest, when I paid a benefit because I have took the money to the lender, whoever has given me the money is for use of capital. For example, I have purchased the building. For the purchase of building, this building I have sold to someone else. For that the money is being received. That is what we call capital. Okay, simple. Capital means you will use the property or any kind of asset for that the benefit you give, the extra money you are giving, no? That is what we call interest. Let's see the kinds of interest. We have total two kinds of interest. First, gross interest and next we have net interest. Gross interest means the combination of your entire interest. A to Z interest, that is what we call gross. The word itself says gross interest. The full, gross means fully, full interest. That's what the meaning itself says. Total interest here, we are taking the entire interest, whether it is related to building, whether it is related to furniture, stock, anything, entire calculation that we take it, that is what we call total interest. What is the formula for calculating gross interest? Gross interest is equal to net interest, the total interest. For example, we have 10 lakh rupees as interest. 
For 10 lakhs, for example, you take 10% means it will be 1 lakh. This 1 lakh rupees is a net interest. 1 lakh interest plus reward for inconvenience. For example, I have got a loan and I am not able to pay the loan. For that, I am giving the extra money. That is what we call reward for inconvenience. Then, insurance. If anything happened to the product, for example, I have asked a particular person to give me the machines and there is a suddenly depreciation in the machine. Machine got damaged. For that, I am giving that money, no? That is what? Insurance. Plus the payment of service of the debt. And whatever the service of the debt is, that. So, how you identify the gross interest? Net interest plus reward for inconvenience plus in insurance plus the payment for service of the debt. Why we are doing this? To understand the total aspect of the interest. The entire interest has to be taken. That's the nature. Gross interest. Here, we calculate the entire attitude of the interest. What is the fundamental aspect with regards to interest that we will calculate? What we have? Gross interest is equal to net interest plus uh, inconvenience payment plus insurance plus payment. What payment? A payment for the services. That will give the gross interest. Next one we have net, in uh, net interest. What is net interest? A part of the gross interest. This we have no a small part of it. For example, 100% interest rate, around 90% or 50% or 40%. So we have total 10 lakhs rupees. Out of 10 lakhs rupees, the 10, 5 lakhs rupees separately has been given. This 5 lakh rupees will be told as net interest. Which means from the large number of output, a small number is taken place. That is what we call as net interest. Okay. Let's see what is the various theories. Okay. So now we have understood what is interest and what is the various kinds of interest. Let's understand the various theories related to the interest part. See, interest plays a very, very vital role and fundamental role in the creation of utility. A person in a business will survive when there is a capital. For example, I am having a business and for the survival for me in a business is possible only when there is a proper utilization of capital. For example, I am having a business of motorbike and there is not sufficient payment uh, capital I have means what will happen at the time of debt or at the time of any accident or any at the time of uh, uh, some kind of natural disasters. What will happen? There will be a lot of damage to me. My business cannot be survived. That's the reason this capital is a very vital role. That's the reason there are various financial institutions like UDBI, like uh, banks, uh, like other financial institutions which provides you the financial assistance for the creating of uh, capital because this capital plays a vital role or you can say that it plays a major role in the formation of utility. We need all the factors of production. We know that factors of production is divided into two parts. One is primary and then is derived from. This primary is very essential. Land and labor is very very essential and it is free. It is a gift of nature. It is provided by the Almighty. We have not uh, done the uh, what kind of uh, land. We have not manufactured the land. It is already in existence. The labor is already in existence. So this primary factor is easily combinable. But this drive function, these two drive function, the capital and the organization are very difficult aspect. The organization will see in the next sessions. But here in the capital, why it is drive function? Because we have to utilize the maximum output to have the proper result. What does it mean? Means because this capital is the thing that is essential for the formation and the development of a company. If there is an extra capital with you, at the time of problem, what you can do? Your business can survive. That's it for the the capital plays important. You can see the meaning itself. How is it? A man-made thing that helps to produce a good. It's a man-made. It's not a natural gift. It helps to produce the goods. Without a capital, goods cannot be produced. That is what's the major part. And when you are paying a reward to any person who has given you the money for at the time of your need, for doing the business or any kind of activity, that is what we call interest. Capital and interest are the same aspect, right? Let's see some of the theories. There is three major widely approached theory. One is waiting theory. This waiting theory is given by N.W. Senior. This N.W. Senior is a famous French economist who has given this waiting theory of interest where what happens means the entire process of 
capital or the interest aspect is being stored. For example, I am the business person and I know that there can be a certain happenings like natural disasters, like there can be a fire or theft or uh, there can be any kind of uh, uh, deflation and inflation part which is going to indirectly or directly affect my business. So I will keep my part of capital to pay to the labors. I will keep my capital to pay to the debtors. I will keep my capital to pay to the creditors. So when I am keeping my capital for the purpose of satisfying the needs and wants at the time of difficult reasons, that is what we call waiting thing. Where here the capital is being stored and kept for the future use. That is what we call waiting. Simple. It is kept for the future use. That is what we call waiting theory. Who has given this theory? N. W. C. N. He is a famous French economics. Because of him, this interest theory rate has become more popular. The next theory is time preference theory. This time preference theory is given by John Ray. This John Ray is also a famous economics. According to him, the interest can be done in the basis of saving, bank credit, this hoarding and this investment. According to him, the interest has to be saved for the future period. According to him, the interest is a part of bank credit. So for example, if you get a loan from the bank, the higher bank rates is done. That is what the bank credit. He says that interest is a part of this hoarding, and he also says that interest is a part of this investment. Where, according to him, the interest plays an important role in the formation and development of any business or economic policy. How? Because based on the time period, when there is a need of the product. When there is a need of the capital, then can be utilized. So saving has to be done. Bank credit. So whenever there is a reason, you can approach the bank and so this hoarding, the various this hoarding uh, abilities has been done, and this investment, the investment policy has to be stopped when the business is having inflation and deflation aspect. So time preference. So when there is a perfect time, we will approach that. We will have that preference. The uh, word itself is time preference. According to the time preferences, they accept the interest policy. And it will help the business. Next one, Keynes liquidity preference theory. This is the widest and the waste various uh, famous theory of interest because of this special mode. A special mode. What is the special mode? It has the special motive. The motive of transaction, the motive of precautionary, and the motive of speculative. This liquidity preference tells that the entire interest has to be stored in a such way that it can be utilized for the future assumption. First point. It can be done for the creating the utility. Second point. It can be done for the purpose of satisfying the needs and wants of the consumer. Third point. It can be stored for the purpose of growth and development of company. It can be used for the purpose and development of economy and the national interest. Because you will save the thing, and entire thing can be held. How? Because this Keynes, James Keynes theory, is a very vital. Because his theory plays the vital role, and it says you can see that there is a not one maximum equilibrium, but there is a two equilibrium, three equilibrium. Why this happen? Because there is a not perfect one point where the maximum satisfaction reach. There are many parts in the capital business that you can receive the maximum satisfaction. See the first part. We have x-axis and y-axis. See, there is one one. This is what I one. You can have it. You can have this I, and you can have this I zero. See, I and I zero. You can see that when I zero is falling, I one is also falling. But equilibrium is here down, and the equilibrium is up. Here, the satisfaction level is low. But when you are going another investment, what happen? Equilibrium reach high. What will happen if you have the third one? If you go for the third investment, what will happen? Again, it will reach high. So. According to James Keynes theory, when the investment is put more, what happens? The equilibrium, the satisfaction level increases more. The next theory by him is says that there is a sudden devices of satisfaction gets down. See here, we have the investment and we has the uh, motive. The investment and motive channel. See first it was high, E. Then it came down, E two. Then it came down, E three. So. According to his theory, when you are approaching the preference liquidity theory of interest, what happens if the investment is uh, given interest? Uh, the investment is being introduced. Extra potential in interest being uh, investment is being introduced. What happens? Maximum satisfaction introduced. 
But when the motive is not clear and then the investment is being made, what happens? The satisfaction is being reduced. That was the Jane Kenny's liquidity preference. Simple means you have to have the more investment. More investment will give you more equilibrium or the more satisfaction. So this is what the part of capital or interest. What is this? When you are getting a reward for the giving of your resources like capital, that is what we call interest. And what is capital? A man-made thing that helps you to have the better place in economy and better place in the business. Dear viewers, if you have not subscribed our official channel, subscribe GK Jain Schools and press the bell icon for the latest and nearest visual in various subjects. Thank you all. पहले सभी गुरुजनों को मेरा प्रणाम मैं वीरेंद्र पुरी कक्षा नवी का छात्र हूँ मैं श्री गौतम चंद कोठारी जैन हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल रायपुर में पढ़ता हूँ मैं स्कूल को भगवान के मंदिर से कम नहीं मानता क्योंकि अभी कोरोना की महामारी के चलते हमारे स्कूल ने बड़ी कठिनाई से ऑनलाइन क्लास रखी मैं ऑनलाइन क्लास के चलते बड़ा खुश हूँ मैं सुबह जल्दी उठ कर, स्नान करके नाश्ता करने के बाद ऑनलाइन क्लास के लिए फोन लेकर तैयार हो जाता हूँ धन्यवाद आगे कार्य धीरेन्द्रपुरी